Hello my dear children I am your Lena Miss I hope all of you are safe and healthy and I think all are learning well okay let us continue the lesson number 3 synthetic fibers and plastics In the previous video you have learned about synthetic fibers types of synthetic fibers advantages and disadvantages of synthetic fibers now we are going to learn about plastic a material is said to be plastic if it can be molded or formed into different shapes children you must be familiar with many plastic articles used every day like bottles glasses bags etc plastic is also a polymer like the synthetic fiber plastic articles are available in all possible shapes and sizes the fact is that plastic is easily moldable means can be shaped in any form it can be recycled reused colored melted rolled into sheet or made into wires polythene is one of the most famous type of plastic which is used in manufacturing of carry bags now let us learn about types of plastics plastic can be classified into two groups depending on their reaction to heat number 1 thermoplastics number 2 thermosetting plastics first of all let us learn about what is thermoplastics plastics which can be easily bent or deform on heating are known as thermoplastic example pvc and polythene now let us see what are the uses of thermoplastics they are used for manufacturing toys combs and various types of containers next one is thermosetting plastic children now we'll come to know how thermosetting plastic is different from thermoplastics plastics which do not get deformed or softened on heating when molded once are called the thermosetting plastic for example bakelite and melamine now let us see the uses of thermosetting plastics first one let us see about bakelite bakelite is a poor conductor of heat and electricity so it is used for electrical switches handles of various utensils now next let us see what about melamine melamine it resists fire and can tolerate heat better than other plastics it is used for making floor tiles kitchenware and fabrics which resist fire our next topic is plastics as materials of choice today if we think of storing food items water milk pickles dry food etc plastic containers seem most convenient why do we think so because of their light weight lower price good strength and easy handling being lighter as compared to metals plastics are used in cars aircraft and spacecraft now we are going to learn about characteristic properties of plastic first point plastic is non reactive children do you know that metals like iron get rusted when left exposed to moisture and air but plastic do not react with water and air they are not corroded easily that is why they are used to store various kinds of materials including chemicals second characteristic property of plastic is it is light strong and durable children what is the material of the buckets or mugs you are using today i know you will say plastic but i am asking another question what are the advantages of using a plastic container okay i will tell you 
because plastic is very light, strong, durable and can be molded into different shape and sizes. Also, they are generally cheaper than metals. The third characteristic property is plastics are poor conductors. You have already learned that plastics are poor conductors of heat and electricity. That is why electrical wires have plastic covering and handles of screwdrivers are made of plastic. Now we are going to learn one important topic plastic and the environment. Children, you just look around you. You can see many plastic pieces are lying here and there. What is the reason for this? When we go to the market, we get things wrapped in plastic or packed in polythene bags. After using, people throw these plastic items here and there. That is one reason plastic waste keep getting accumulated in our environment. Other than plastic, we can see so many materials are lying on the environment, on the surroundings. Some materials which get decomposed by natural process while some are not. They are classified into two categories. Number one, biodegradable material. Number two, non-biodegradable materials. What is the meaning of biodegradable materials? Biodegradable material is a material which get decomposed through natural processes such as action by bacteria is called a biodegradable material. Then what about non-biodegradable material? It is a material which is not easily decomposed by natural process is called a non-biodegradable material. Plastics are coming under non-biodegradable material. Now you have already learned about plastics, types of plastic, characteristic property of plastic. Now let us conclude this lesson. Plastic takes several years to decompose. It is not environment friendly. It causes environment pollution. So it is better to avoid the use of plastic as far as possible. Make use of bags made of cotton and jute. As a responsible citizen, we should remember and follow the 4R principle. Reduce, reuse, recycle and recover. Develop habits which are environment friendly. Thank you. I hope all of you have understood the topic. Keep learning. Stay home. Stay safe. Once again, thank you.